Welcome, my dear friends. In today's uh, technical session on the topic series, Introduction on Paint Technology, I'll be explaining about the various types of pigments and how to test these pigments for its quality. As we already discussed in the previous session, we have pigment and the pseudo pigment. Pseudo pigments means false pigment like uh, china clay, then barium sulphate, calcium carbonate, mica, soapstone, etc. So these are all called extenders also. But they are not true pigments. But when we talk about the true pigments, so we have white pigments and colored pigments. It can also be classified as inorganic pigment and organic pigment. Now let us discuss in detail. We are already familiar with uh, some pigments like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, zinc sulphide, lithopone, etc. And we know something about the chrome pigments. Now, let us see the iron oxide and the chrome oxide pigments. They are also available as a synthetic pigment. They are made rich in color. We have got chrome pigments. These are all yellow chromes. This is lemon chrome. This is middle chrome. Middle chrome will be orangish or reddish. Whereas lemon chrome is greenish. And we have uh, other type of a lemon chrome that is also much greenish one. So this is chrome, this is middle chrome, this is lemon chrome. And we have plenty of chromes like uh, that is we have got the uh, primary color as well as the reduced color. Reduced color means that is its depth is somewhat low that is it is something like a pastel or light shade. So we have middle chrome, light chrome, deep yellow, lemon chrome yellow, and we have orange chrome, zinc chrome. Then we have got a various um, molybdenum, red chrome. Then we have molybdenum, a red chrome, 207. So you can find some tonal variation based on the grades. So likewise, we have different types of chromes. And uh, you can see on the right side, they are mixed with white so that they are available as reduced tone. Then we have to check two important parameters as soon as you receive the material in bulk. The main thing is mass tone and the reduced tone. The mass tone is nothing but we have to make it as a paste with the required amount of oil. Like uh, we can make use of this linseed oil or any other semi drying oil. So you take a pinch of quantity, I mean a small quantity of pigment and small quantity of uh, semi drying oil that is the linseed oil and make it into a paste. It should have somewhat uh, like a buttery consistency. Now we can either make use of the hand muller or the that is uh, electrical pigment muller. This is the electrical pigment muller and we can make use of uh, the glass paper weight also and uh, that can be ground on either we have granite or uh, that is a ground glass slab. Now we have to make it as a paste and uh, apply on a glass slide so that uh, we can match the color. Okay. So this is the first one mass tone. Reduced tone means you have to mix it with white especially titanium dioxide rutile. 
so in the required ratio for example 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 20 okay so based on that you can check along with your standard so that the tinting strength can be evaluated based on this so this mass tone and reduced tone are the two important parameters we need to check so that uh, we can have some good idea about the pigment and its uh, tinctorial or tinting strength that is coloring strength and then uh, we need to arrive at the proper pigment binder ratio and for which you have to select the appropriate binder in this case the resin so the selection of resin is also very very significant okay so you can go through uh, a book written by turner it's a very good book it's available in google and amazon also so you can check it and uh, this is the the title is introduction to paint chemistry and the principles of paint technology by gpa turner so this is one of the best books i can recommend if you want to have better understanding about the chemistry of paint now uh, <clears throat> as i already discussed see that is either you should have a ground glass slab or granite stone so it can be of a three feet by two feet size so over which you can make use of uh, that is you need uh, to have such kind of a doctor's blade with which you can make it as a paste the pigment can be made into a paste so this is called mass tone and this is the reduced tone and this is also called a tint tone so you can take that is uh, a small amount of fixed amount of a pigment and uh, grind it into a paste using the uh, linseed oil so that you can apply this as a paste on the uh, that is either on the glass plate or you have got the uh, tinting chart also so over which you can apply so that you can simultaneously check the hiding capacity hiding power or opacity of the pigment anyway so uh, this mass tone and reduced tone as i already explained that is it is mixed with titanium dioxide rutile to the fixed ratio like 1 is to 10 and we check the color strength also okay right and uh, now this is the uh, mass tone chart where you can find this is the that is uh, standard and uh, suppose the material which is supplied as a bulk one maybe have maybe having some slight difference in the tonal variation and that can be immediately that is uh, evaluated or it can be given as a, a remark saying that in this case the this is the standard and this is the bulk supply that is the supply supply sample so this is less reddish so this is the way you can interpret the mass tone either and as far as assuming that the right is uh, standard left is uh, supply means you can say this is dirty or reddish okay so likewise you should be able to interpret the color and not only that you can find the opaqueness of the pigment by applying on a black strip okay so that you can find out now you can see this is transparent whereas this is translucent whereas this is opaque that is it has a hidden the black surface so based on that we can uh, it, i mean uh, distinguish the opacity that is uh, hiding power of the pigment okay right so opacity means hiding power of a pigment uh, when you have got the least opacity it represents more transparency it means this uh, may not be a good uh, parameter as far as pigment for paint is concerned okay so for a true pigment it should have best opacity or the hiding power now uh, dye is something uh, it is a uh, transparent uh, it uh, the process of dyeing is totally different from uh, painting so dyeing is the interfacial coloring coloring uh, that is uh, it penetrates into the substrate whereas the paint is applied on the surface so where the hiding or the opacity is very important right now let us consider uh, that is a 
there are some pigment essential pigment properties like uh, that is you had to check the color mass tone reduce tone then opacity and then color strength then light fastness can also be found out whether the uh, pigment can withstand the maximum exposure and a longer duration to the sunlight so all these things are uh, practically examined light fastness and weather resistance means that is uh, how far it can withstand to extreme weather conditions okay then heat resistance then insolubility because pigment is supposed to be inert it should not be chemically inert i mean chemically rea reactive so it should be inert and especially it should not be soluble in water and in any uh, that is uh, major petrochemical solvent particularly xylene then uh, we have to check other uh, chemical resistance and the price should also be matched so we had to compare like this then uh, now let us uh, compare the inorganic and organic pigment inorganic pigment has very good uh, hiding power whereas organic uh, may have that is uh, uh, less hiding power okay and um, particularly when the light let us consider irrespective of the inorganic or organic when a pigment has lower hiding power what could be the result it means when light falls on the pigment it does not reach the deeper in case of a good pigment if it is not um, uh, having uh, that is uh, hiding power then definitely it will have the transparency okay so that will affect the stability of the pigment also now you can see in the case of uh, dye it is so transparent and uh, in case of uh, paint it is opaque so opaqueness is much recommended in the pigment that is used in paint okay whereas the dyes are more transparent is it not right then now let us uh, talk about the varnish pigment plus varnish is equal to paint that is paint is nothing but pigmented varnish suppose if, we, if you remove the pigment from the paint then it acts as varnish only so varnish is nothing but resin some additives and some diluent along with some thinner okay so it's also called a clear so especially on wood we apply varnish or wooden lacquer and uh, see the stains are very very important here in fact the wooden stains are the natural beauty so it should be transparent and it should be visible so these are all the different coating thickness of uh, varnish so that you can have different uh, depth of colors also okay so we have got various uh, types of uh, varnishes okay right so so far we have discussed about mass tone reduced tone and uh, we need to discuss about the texture based on the c residue analysis and we'll be discussing about oil absorption also as far as pigment is concerned okay so we will continue this in the next session thank you for watching this video